Welcome, my name is Zoe. Some of you might know me from ZA Reptiles on Instagram or Twitter. So I made the decision the other night that I want to start keeping a reptile logbook for my animals. I figured as a zookeeper that's something I'm going to have to do anyway, so I might as well get used to it now. And it's a place for me to store all the information about my reptiles, like cleaning, when they pooped, um, for my snakes when they ate, when they shed. So it's all information I wanted to have somewhere that I can refer back to and just keep track of everything. I was using that for my phone, but I kind of lost interest in it after I twice set an alarm on it to remind me to pull mice to feed Phoenix. And both times there was no alarm, there was no notification, there was nothing. So I forgot to feed her for a couple days and I was like, shoot! I was supposed to feed her two days ago and the app never notified me or alarmed me or reminded me. So I decided apps are not the way to go in this case, technology sucks. I'm going to go old school, pen and paper, except I'm going to put my twist on it and do it my way and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. So real quick, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos and let's get to it. So I have all of my log sheets that I made and printed out and I also have my folders for all of my animals. So I have my rainbow boa, my corn snake, my iguana, and my fish. And then my binder that they're all gonna go in. And of course I saw the blue and green and had to get it. Those are my favorites, especially when they're combined. And I didn't know what to do with a binder because I don't use them for school. And so I decided I would finally do my reptile logbook. So I'll go ahead and put all of these in here. And I went with folders over tab dividers because one, they are cheaper and I really, really liked these. Like, look at that. And two, they have pockets. So say if I have to take one of them to the vet, I can put the receipt or any information in the pocket so it's all right there. And now I have all of my log sheets. So I have a couple different ones, but they all kind of have the same general idea. So this one is for cleaning. And I'll put the date that I cleaned and then any additional comments. So if I did just like a deep clean or just scooped out poop or anything else, if I found something weird, um, then I have my feeding sheet. And these are obviously for the snakes because I have the date, food fed, and comments. So for food given, I would put the, like, the size of the mouse that I fed. And then comments could be if they didn't take it, um, if they seemed hungry after, anything you can think of. And then I have my poop sheet. So the date they pooped, any additional comments, so was their urate, was there lots of poop, a little bit of poop. And then my shed log. So the date that they shed and any comments. Was the shed whole? Was the shed really choppy and all over the place? So I'm filming this way in the future because I forgot about this page. But this is the main page. So up in this box I put their name, their common name, so what they are, their gender, when I got them, where I got them from, and their birthday or at least a year, because I kind of know that. And then their health, so like their overall. So like, Apollo's a baby, and he's in the process of switching to Frozen Thawd. So I suck, and I forgot to show you guys this page, but I made a page to track their weight, too. And then, lastly, I have just an extra info sheet. So, if they went to the vet, do they need any medication? Um, anything else like that? So I went ahead and hole punched everything, figured you guys didn't need to watch me hole punch a bunch of papers, and organize them by animal. So they're all organized, all set, and I'm going to put them in the binder now. Alright, so all the sheets are in, 
and they're all organized the same way. So now I'm just going to go through and kind of add the information. So that is my reptile log book or my animal log book since it has fish in it. I hope this kind of helped you guys come up with ideas or inspire you to do something like this or just give you kind of an idea of ways to track your animal's progress. And now that you've seen how I made my sheets, maybe you guys want to figure out how to make your own or I may eventually post PDFs of mine so that you guys can download them and use them if you want. Um, for now, I'm just going to troubleshoot them, see how I like them, see if I would rather set them up differently. Um, but yeah, so that is my reptile log book. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.